White Sands National Monument in New Mexico and we just drove to the back of the park to find a trail and it looks like another planet in here. It's just white sand dunes everywhere. It's pretty cool. Well White Sands seemed like it was probably a very beautiful place but by the time we parked the car to go on the trail that we wanted to go on the winds had really picked up and all you could really see was just a white cloud of sand around you and it was just pelting us everywhere and so we went back to the car and drove out but it was still cool to see and now we are on our way to Rockhound State Park to break up our drive to Saguaro we're driving to Tucson and it's terrifying here because the winds are really, really strong, so it's pushing the van all over the road. There's tumbleweeds flying at us from all over the place, and there's dust everywhere. You can't see the mountains, and we hate it, right? How are you doing? It sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. It sucks here. Just got to our campsite outside of Saguaro and it's really cool. There's a giant cactus right at our campsite. Signal Hill where prehistoric people have left like glyphs in the rocks and it's pretty cool. Sunrise is very pretty. It's about 6 a.m. and we are up and on our way to Joshua Tree today. We stopped at a gas station to make some salad for lunch and then it's my turn to drive. Where do I go? <laughs> we can get on I-10 West. I'm a pro by now. Yeah, what time is this? Like third time, third fourth time. time? Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Alright, let's do it. 
Wait, which way do I go? <laughs> It's been like two days since I washed my hair and there's no showers here. We slept at Cottonwood Campground last night and it was very cold and we went to the visitor center this morning to ask a couple questions and we also asked what the temperature was overnight and she said 37 degrees. So that explains why we were cold. And now we are heading to the middle of the park to um, the Hidden Valley area to try to find another campsite for the next couple of days maybe and do some hikes over there. Shaft, the Desert Queen mine, and still got the rails for the carts. campsite at Ryan Campground and it's very cool. So I started up the van this morning uh, to warm up the engine before we were leaving to go to a trailhead and I just had the hood open and I noticed a slight leak coming from this radiator hose. So the first thing I've done, I've just tightened the clamp and we're going to hope that fixes the issue, otherwise we're going to have to wait for it to cool down and then get in here and see if there's any cracks or something in the hose but it was really cold overnight so maybe the hose just got you know sort of brittle well the uh, radiator hose is getting warm so I think that should mean that coolant's flowing but I don't see any leaks anymore so hopefully deciding that hose clamp did the trick and uh, we won't have any more issues. We're going on a hike. We're going to Lost Horse Mine Trail. 